risk. I also like the fact that he dares to dream very big. And I actually had the, the honour, actually, I would describe it, of spending a couple of hours with him down in France in the summer where we got into the colonisation of Mars and why he felt so passionately about it. And he said a few things. One, he said, we have to do this because at some stage, planet Earth is just not going to be a viable place anymore, was his belief. Secondly, that inevitably at some stage, planet Earth will be incinerated by the sun anyway. We don't know when that will happen, but one day it will happen. I'll get your response we to do. that. We, we do know when it will happen, but yeah. When, when will it happen on that point? <laughs> Oh, yeah, let me check my calendar. <laughs> no, I mean, no, the sun will... will... <laughs> Do we have any idea the when that may transition... happen? Yeah, the sun will transition into a red giant phase, on the, assuming it behaves like every other star, just like it. And as it does, its outer shell will expand, and the, the surface of the sun will get closer and closer to Earth, and it will uh, evaporate our oceans will cut, come to a rolling boil and evaporate into the atmosphere. The atmosphere will evaporate into space, and Earth will be a charred ember <laughs> that, will, that will get swallowed Why by the sun. Why are you laughing, Mars Neil? This is not funny. You're, you're painting a picture of utter extinction and apocalypse. Why are you laughing? Yeah, that's it. No, 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 because it's, it's, <laughs> it's... It's not that it's funny. It's that it's in five billion years. Right. So we have a whole lot of other sort of prioritized things we should be thinking about between now and okay. then. 